Part A is asking to find the orbital speed of the electron for a hydrogen atom in its ground state. So let's begin by first finding the radius. In order to find the radius, we'll use this equation right here, that the radius is equal to n squared, which is the energy level, times h bar squared. And h bar is Planck's constant divided by 2 pi, divided by the mass of the electron, times the Coulomb constant, times the elementary particle squared. Next, let's briefly discuss the hydrogen atom in its ground state. So the hydrogen atom consists of one proton in the nucleus and one electron on the first orbital, n equals one. So this is the first energy level right here. So that's what this n is representing. So as you can see here, there are only two elementary particles. We have the proton and the electron. And each elementary particle has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So next, let's go ahead and plug in the values for the variables. And once again, h bar, so there's like this little bar line on the h right here, and that value is Planck's constant, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, divided by 2 times pi, and we're going, and we're going to square that value. The energy level for n, as you can see here, there's only one orbital right here, or if we could say there's only one ring around the nucleus, so n is going to equal 1. The mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. The value for the Coulomb constant, k, is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. The charge for an elementary particle, we use the variable e, is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, and we're going to square that value. This will give us a radius of 5.3096 times 10 to the negative 11th meters. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to quantize angular momentum. And, the, and when we do that, we'll get this relationship right here, that m times the, or the mass times the velocity times the radius is equal to n times h bar. We'll go ahead and rearrange and solve for the velocity. And when we plug in the values for these variables here, we now know what the radius, because we calculated it right here above, right here, we'll get a velocity of 2.18 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Or we can write that as 2.18 megameters per second. In order to solve part B, we need the kinetic energy formula, or the classical kinetic energy formula. We now know what the velocity was because we calculated it from part A. Once we plug in our values for the variables, we'll get a kinetic energy value of 2.16 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. However, we need to convert that to electron volts. So we'll use this conversion factor for every one electron volt. We have 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. This will give us a kinetic energy of 13.5 electron volts. In order to solve part C, we'll need to use the potential energy or the electrical potential energy formula which is the coulomb constant times the charge of the first particle times the charge of the second particle divided by the radius again let's bring up a quick discussion of the hydrogen atom there are two elementary particles and we represent that with the symbol e so we have a proton and that has a positive charge and the electron which has a negative charge so when we go ahead and plug this in we'll have an e for q1 and a negative e for q2 and we're going to use the radius that we found from before we'll go ahead and plug in the values for the variables and we'll get a potential energy of negative 4.33 times 10 to the negative 18th joules once again we'll need to convert that to electron volts and we'll get a potential energy of negative 27.1 electron volts. 